The problem with most uh, cancer support organisations, as far as I'm concerned, is that most of them don't seem to apply to me. <laughs> um, there's a lot of organisations that are for people older than 45 or people younger than 24 and I was diagnosed with cancer age 25 <laughs> so, and there's a lot of organisations that are for specific cancer types and I have thyroid cancer which you know doesn't seem to be one of the types that features all that often in <laughs> doesn't get many mentions. Um, yeah, so most organisations don't really seem to apply to me. And of the organisations that I do hear of, a lot of them are really hard to use. Like, I go on their homepage, there's a lot about funding, you know, stuff like that on the homepage and it's really hard to find the what they actually do for people with cancer part um, and I might ring them up and they might not really be that helpful on the phone uh, so it can take a lot of a lot of work to try and find out you know anything any sort of support from the organisations. The first organisation that was mentioned to me uh, when I was diagnosed, I rang them the day after I was diagnosed. I said, uh, I've just been diagnosed and I was told that they should call, call you and uh, see what support you offer. And they said, well, what support would you like? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this before, obviously. I don't know what you do. <laughs> uh, it'd be kind of handy if you told me what you do. Or you know what you offer. I don't know what you offer. So if you could spell it out, <laughs> that would be kind of handy for me. So for quite a while, I didn't really get anywhere with, with any organisations. I'll be honest, uh, it wasn't really wasn't really getting anywhere. So that's my uh, two minutes of rambling now about... <laughs> gosh. Um, I'm actually making this video to talk about an organisation that, that I do like. I think that probably my favourite cancer support organisation is Ellie's Friends. Ellie's Friends was set up by the fiancé and the friends of Eleanor Jeffrey, who had cancer and uh, there's a tribute video to her on their YouTube channel, which I, I think is really nice. It sounds like Eleanor was a really good person. And it's, it's really nice hearing hearing these various people say really nice things about her. <laughs> I've got a bit of a soft, I've got a bit of a soft spot for when people say really nice things about other people. It's just really nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. I especially liked it when Ellie's fiance was saying about how he would he would just like to <laughs> he'd just like to you know talk to her. Why would he want to talk to anyone else? Um, oh, it's just so sweet. <laughs> she was one of those people that you can you can take anywhere. You can leave talking to anyone, but at the end of the day. I, you know, why would you leave her? I just wanted to spend every minute of every day with her. Anyway, Ellie sounds incredible and the organisation that they've set up is basically so that companies can give things to them that they can pass on as freebies for people who have cancer in the UK and that's just a it's pretty simple setup. It doesn't matter which type of cancer or whatever, it just it's a really simple setup and it's sort of win-win for everyone involved really. I mean the companies will get some good publicity and so forth and some shares and <laughs> other people who have cancer can get some freebies so that they can get something nice in the post or whatever and it's just nice. <laughs> I personally have got some things from Ellie's friends. I got a free box of vegetables from Abel and Cole and uh, I also got a ticket to see live at the Apollo while I was in London. Um, <laughs> right now it's pretty amazing all the things that I did in London last month because this week I just feel really 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 tired and it's like 
How did I do all of that stuff last month? <laughs> that was only last month. That was... <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I'm going to the doctors this week and getting, getting my uh, medication doses looked at. But <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, another thing that I got from Ellie's friends is nail oil. Um, yeah, so those are the things that I got from them and it's just, it's just really nice. You know, it's really nice to just be able to... <sighs> it's just a really nice organisation, I think. It's a really nice, simple organisation that they've set up and it's really easy to use and just get some nice little freebies and it's so nice to be thought of.